Hey everyone, it's Melissa from Bee in the Bear Backyard Homestead here in the Central Valley of California, Zone 9B. I'm actually not in the backyard, I'm in the front yard. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be doing um, a garden tour of the front yard. I haven't done one in a long time. So anyways, I'm also doing something experimental. You know me in experimental gardening to see how much I can grow in my, you know, 7,000, seven, almost 8,000 square foot you know, yard. <laughs> so anyways, um, I got these grow bags. Um, I have some other ones. Let me see. See, I have those ones that I grow things in. And so I bought these grow bags because one of John's friends gave us some, <clears throat> sorry, in my throat, some Jerusalem artichokes. As you can see, they're already starting to get green and get um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, and get some uh, roots going, so I actually need to get these in to these grow bags as soon as possible. Um, I don't want to put them in the ground because I don't want them to spread and take over the yard. So anyways, they're Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes, as some people call them. So what I'm going to do is I have five 10 gallon uh, grow bags and I'm going to fill those up and put them in <laughs> and see what we do here. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you what I'm doing. So what I was reading was that you're supposed to put them about three to five inches down. So I'm going to go ahead and place these on top and then I'm going to um, cover them with about five more inches of three to five more inches <laughs> of <clears throat> soil. So anyways, sorry, my throat is like super clogged. This might be too close together, but you know, this is experimental gardening. Gardening. So we'll see. All right, this is back number two. Just putting them in. <laughs> you know what they kind of remind me of? They kind of look like ginger or turmeric. Very similar. I'll put one more. All right. Okay. Uh, I can't remember if I said 10 gallon or 10 pound, but these are 10 gallon. <laughs> um, anyways, so they're all filled and I'll come back through and water them later. Um, Cause later on the kids and I are going to be planting some pumpkin seeds and I might make these rows longer since I have a lot of extra soil still left over, but we'll have to wait and see. So here's all my volunteer sunflowers. <laughs> um, they uh, decided to come up on their own when I was out here uh, <clears throat> taking sunflower seeds out of the sunflowers and I just threw some out to the birds and to the squirrels and they went ahead and planted them for me. So I'm excited. This one is the closest to opening. So I'm ready. I'm excited. <laughs> Over here, here's my succulents. Um, I definitely need to cut this one and pot it and try and grow some more succulents. I might have a plant sale. So we'll see. Here's my red roses. They're just beautiful. Here's um, some of my aloes. Here is the garlic chive. I've had this one for a couple years. Here is my onion chives. They're doing really good. I just planted those um, in the fall. Some more of my succulents. Here is some of my tiny cactuses that um, one of John's friends gave me. And they were just little itty bitty babies and they've grown so much. Here's my thyme. It's flowering. Here is another one of my aloes. Some more succulents. If you don't know, I love succulents. Um, I grew up with them. My grandma loves succulents, so they just remind me of her. Here's my horseradish. Doing really good. More succulents. You can't really see, but there it is right there. <laughs> Doing good. Here's my wheelbarrow of succulents and aloes. They're very cute. Here's my parsley. It's very weedy. And here's my cilantro turning into coriander seed. <laughs> it's flowering and I think that my dill is going to be flowering here soon too. 
which is fine. Here is the holy basil and peppermint. Here's my oregano, doing really good. My geraniums are doing really well. These remind me of um, my ex-husband's grandma. <laughs> she loved them. She had them all over their farm. It was really pretty. Um, she was a wonderful lady. And here is the sage, and it's starting to flower. I can't wait to see the flowers. Here is my fennel, and I actually should pull those out. I think that they're ready. This one right here has some um, tiny weeds, <laughs> but also has some tiny um, chives. Here's my bay leaf coming back. It's excited. Here is my green stock with the strawberries on top and a little bit of kale and then my chard on the bottom. And then I actually have some strawberries that are getting red, but also getting eaten. So that's not exciting. <laughs> not happy about that. So if you have any advice about keeping strawberries from getting eaten by bugs, let me know. <laughs> Something that's organic. Over here is another one of my aloes. It's flowering, very beautiful. And then this is a tiny crepe myrtle. <laughs> they like to grow a lot. Here is my lettuce leaf basil. It's getting big every day. Over here is my um, ginger. You can see little ginger. It's uh, been really warm the last couple days, but it's supposed to get cold, so I don't know. <laughs> here is where my turmeric is. Hopefully it'll grow. Again, here's my beautiful red roses. Here's my orange ones. They're about ready to pop. We've had a purple one. Oh, there's a purple one up there about ready to open. And here is my yellow and pink ones. They're really pretty. Oh, there's a couple that are about to open. There's a few more down here. So those ones are just beautiful. I love those pink tips on the yellow. Here is my rosemary. Didn't mean to do that. So here's my rosemary. Here is some of the succulents that I'm trying to propagate. All these little guys. They're actually looking really good. So like I said, I might do a plant sale. Here's one of my aloes. I transplant my aloes a lot because <laughs> that wheelbarrow just gets full of them. Here is my lemon balm and it's looking so good. I need to pick it and make some shortbread cookies with it. And then here is my jasmine. Beautiful. A lot of it's dying back, but it smells amazing. Here are my other grow bags where I have like beans and spices and herbs in there. Um, like having some storage issues on my phone. Anyways, here's some more beans, some caraway, some snapdragon, some the new Greek, and some other things, St. John's wort, and more beans, and some uh, echinacea is in there. Over here's some chickweed, some anise, and snapdragons, and other stuff. So yeah, so that's what's happening in the front yard. My hair is a hot mess today. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I can't wait to go and show you next week the full garden tour. I'm going to try and get it done. Seamus has a doctor's appointment next Friday in Roseville, so we have to drive three hours. But anyways... I'll try and get it done before Friday. So have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next time.